All right, Coach, uh, AAC runners-up, not exactly the way you'd want to see it end, but what? tell me your thoughts right now. Um, not much. I mean, just really good performance by SMU today. Um, hats off to them. They they played aggressive. Uh, they played fearless. Um, they were super impressive on two and three singles today. Um, I thought they played pretty aggressive in, in doubles from the start. Um, our girls fought. Like, I mean, hats off, you know, also to us. I mean, we competed. We tried super hard. Um, but, uh, you know, just bottom line was SMU played a little bit better today than us. And obviously it was it was close. Even though it was 4-0, we had, you know, Jelly and Anique did an incredible job fighting and winning their first sets on five and six. And, you know, Marie was trying to turn it around there. So, you know, Dini was trying to bring it back. But that girl played uh, really well against Dini today. So um, not much we could have done, I thought. But, uh, you know, it's, it's, it is what it is. What was different about SMU than it, than it was playing in the regular season finale? Um, not much. I mean, a little bit uh, different matchups that we had at three and four. Everything else was kind of the same. Um, you know, Marie was in the middle of the war, which she did uh, the first time. Um, and, um, you know, we, we lost at three and four this time, where last time we split it one and one. And that made it a little bit of a difference in a longer match. And we were winning at five and six, you know. So um, that was probably the difference today. But uh, honestly, at two, three and four today, they SMU played very strong and took it to us and uh, deserved that one. What's your biggest takeaway from this from this weekend? Because you managed to get to 500, so you're eligible for an at-large bid. Yes. So, like, what would you say? Yeah, I think. Look, that's what we talked about. I said we a lot of teams, a lot of teams go home at this point in the season and, and call it, but we get to continue to play for another two weeks, and um, you know, it's a great a great two weeks needed for our team to con continue getting ready and um, you know to come to come out of this. Um, we're excited to play the NCAA tournament. Hopefully, I, I'm, I'm guessing we'll be in. We should be in. Um, but, um, you know, I'm just excited for the team. They earned their chance to go play by making the finals. Um, obviously, the, the other thing that I learned, too, is that we're deep. I mean, you know, the Jelly and Anique to be able to step up and they're winning at five and six against these type of teams. Um, you know, it's got to be on all of us. I mean, it can't just be, you know, down there at five and six. I mean, we got to continue to keep getting better in every spot. And um, hopefully we can keep getting better these next two weeks. Should you guys end up getting selected, how big is that kind of like rest period between now and the NCAA going to be? Yeah, so next weekend we have off, which is nice. You know, it's nice to kind of deload a little bit. We're going to definitely take a, a, you know, two to three days off, depending on how, how bodies are feeling and start to slowly get back into the group. But it's good to kind of reevaluate, talk strategy, talk about how we want to kind of attack the next you know, seven to 10 days of practice and stuff like that. Um, obviously, we've played a lot of tennis, so we don't need to be on the court too much. But, uh, you know, it's going to be important to learn how what we need to do on the court to, to continue to get better. What have you learned about this team over the course of this season? Uh, resilience, you know, honestly, I mean, we've we've gone through a lot and uh, it's been it's been tough. And, you know, we've decided to we've the team decided to keep fighting and keep, and keep sticking together. And, you know, you can't be you can't be an, uh, you know, you can't be a bad team and make a finals of your conference, you know, and it just shows you how how good we are. And um, like I said, I think SMU just played really well today and uh, took it to us in a couple spots. But um, I'm excited. I think we can make a splash in the NCAA tournament, and you know, we got to flip our mindset and and look on to the next following weekends. Now you're going. Now, how would you say now that you finished, kind of finished your time in the American? Now that you've kind of had to finish this American Athletic Conference tournament, just thoughts on that? Yeah, it's it's kind of weird. I mean, it doesn't really like sink in yet, obviously, until we're probably into the Big Twelve. But it's been, uh, you know, we've had great memories in the in the American. You know, we've won won two two conference uh, championships. I think we've been the number one seed every single year ex in the last five six years, and except this year. Um, so we've had a lot of success in the American, and it's it's been great. We've had a lot of great memories, um, but um, you know it's time to try to make some new ones. All right, well, that was like, Joe Coach. All righty, thank you, guys.